Alright, since I started doing maths videos, a lot of people have messaged me on this topic here. Apparently, this topic here is people monster under the bed. Quadratics. So, why are you lame at quadratics? I ask people and they say, Sir, Sir, my teacher is real mess. Sir, my teacher don't come to class. Sir, he don't explain it good. Sir, she moving too fast. All these are real excuses I get. Sir, I just hate maths. Um, that's why I name my quadratic. Those are external reasons. The internal reason why I think most people have a problem with topics like quadratics is because it takes a lot of the foundational topics in maths that people don't like and put it all together in one topic. So you need to have a wide range of understanding and four topics. A good range of understanding and four topics to be able to do quadratic. What are those four topics? One, negative numbers. So this is where a lot of people fall out with maths in form and in a form one, beginning of form two, when the teacher say the number line does not stop at zero, it goes beyond, and you have negative one, negative two, negative three, and you need to learn to add and subtract negative numbers and multiply and divide negative numbers. Bam! They never learn to do this. Problems. Two, algebra. Some people, uh, one of my good friends, say he don't know why people have um, letters in mathematics. Why are there why is there letters in mathematics? So from the time you see letters in mathematics, you decide I'm not going to learn that part of mathematics, but yes, this is critical for a topic like quadratics. Three, factorization. Factorization, really and truly the basic form of factorization is your timetables. And people reach in the form five and they still not really know the timetables too hot. So to do factorization, but you need to be able to think of a number 24 and immediately think of the numbers that can go into 24. 12, 6, 4, 3, whatever. And you can think of the numbers that can go into another number. And some people, because they never strengthen up. Strengthen up on this, um, the timetable problems. And finally, graphs. A lot of people don't like to draw. And quadratics has, has an element in it where you need to understand the graph and how it is drawn and Cartesian plane. So that's the next thing there. So if you want to really understand quadratics, don't tell me about your teacher, don't tell me about your love for maths, don't tell me about your hate for maths, don't tell me about your boyfriend, girlfriend. Tell me about these four topics that they want to put some work into. Alright? So, later.